Hi everybody, it's Kathy, and thank you for coming back to my channel. Today we're, I'm doing the second in my series, Dollar Store Journals, and today we're going to make a notes journal. So please stick around if you're interested. Let me show you what it is. It's a simple little journal. It holds your pen or pencil. Open it up. It has a little pocket here to hold notes or receipts. And then it has a notepad that you can jot your ideas on or lists or whatever you want to use it for. So that's what we'll be making. And my dollar store find to make this was this 150 page notepad from dollar store. And these come individually for a dollar. So let's get started. I'll tell you what you'll need. You'll need a scoreboard and a paper cutter. You'll need glue, scissors, a one inch circle punch and a bone folder would be helpful. You're going to need some sort of heavy craft board. This is actually craft paper, not really a board. This is about 120 pounds. And then you're going to need, if you're using this, you're going to need some sort of printed colored scrapbook paper, the thin kind. If you're using card stock, if you have a heavy, heavy card stock, um, and it's printed already, you won't need uh, scrapbook paper. But I would highly recommend that you use a probably a craft piece of craft board, heavy craft paper like this, okay? First thing we're going to do is cut this down to 10 and a quarter inches by six and a quarter inches. 10 and a quarter by six and a quarter. Let me write that down for you on our notepad. Actually, yeah. I'll take one piece out. So 10 and a quarter by six and a quarter inches. Then your score lines, and I'll get to that in a minute, are four and a half, five, and five and a half inches. Okay, 10 and a quarter by six and a quarter is the size of your paper. Four and a half, five, and five and a half are your score lines, okay? So, 10 and a quarter. By six and a quarter. And while we're here, I'm going to cut out the paper that I'm going to use to cover my craft board. And I'm going to cut out the same measurements, 10 and a quarter by six and a quarter. And I'm going to cut one more piece at 10 and a quarter. By six and a quarter. These little notes journals are fun to make. And I think they're perfect for the seasons coming up or for just using in your purse, take with you, or putting them by the phone. I think they're kind of fun. Okay, I can put this away for now. And we're gonna take out our score, well, before we take out our scoreboard, I'm going to glue this to the piece I just cut. And this is simply for the front and the back cover. Oh, 
Oops, I made the dropsies today. I like to use liquid glue for this because it's forgivable. You, can, you have time to move it around instead of using double-sided tape or adhesive runner. Although you could. Okay, that's it. It's pretty paper. The paper is an old pack. It's by DCWV and it's Playful Icons. Now I'm gonna take out my scoreboard. And as I said, we're going to score it at four and a half. If I can find four and a half, there we go. Five, five and a half. And I'm actually gonna go on the other side and do the same thing. Four and a half, five, five and a half. Whoopsie, that's why, because I ripped it. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fold it on the middle uh, score line and use your bone folder. Be careful if it's wet like mine so you don't rip it. And fold it on the first score line. And you're going to fold it. Yeah, it wasn't quite dry. Remember to let it dry first. Don't be in a hurry like me. And on the last score line. So what you're going to come up with you're going to fold it in half like this and I'm going to put a pen in this when I'm done. This is going to be a pen holder. So I want to estimate where this little holder needs to be so that my pen doesn't hang over the edge. So I can put it here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut from the middle score line to the front, which will also mean to the back, not all the way through this, the fold line, but just enough so you have something that looks like this. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that tab out while I push the other things back in, folding it in the opposite direction. And as I said before, I really should have waited <laughs> to, uh, to do this. You know, I should have let it dry is what I'm trying to say. So now when I fold it, you should have something that looks like this. I'm gonna go back in and see if I can fix this little gluey mess here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is from the middle score line here to the last score line, I'm going to put glue because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue that down, okay? So I'm putting glue here. Hello. I'll say I'm putting glue there. There we go. 
and I'm going to glue that down, hold it firmly so it stays in place. And go back in and brandish it well. May need more glue. Sure does. This paper is pretty semi-porous, it seems like. Can paper be semi-porous? I don't know, but it feels like it is. If you have a heat gun, you could take a heat gun and speed up the process, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna worry about it. It'll close eventually. And I love these glass tops. I know I keep saying that in all my videos, but they really make cleanup so much easier. Okay, so you end up with something that looks like this. And I wanna make sure I have the measurements right. Yeah, this is going to fit right up to this. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Okay, something's wrong. This is too long. So I'm actually going to cut this. Okay, next, we're gonna take our pad and I'm going to reinforce the cover by putting on, on the top, a piece of this craft board. So all I'm going to do is, I'm gonna take my cutter And, good. And the top of the pad is a half an inch. And this is six inches. So I'm going to score it at, I'm gonna put it in this way. I'm gonna score it at six. And what did I say, half, and six and a half. So this score is at six and six and a half. And that's simply to reinforce the cover. Before I glue it on here, I wanna cover this in paper as well. And we know that this is four by six. So I'm going to cut it at four inches wide. And let's do it about seven inches. And that could go right on this. Oh, that's too. 
Let me make sure. Okay, this is a little too wide. I'm still going to put this on and I'm going to trim the pad. I mean the paper, the brown paper. I'm gonna put it over to one side. And I'm going to trim this. Okay. And then on the back, what I'm going to do before I put it anywhere is I'm going to cut a small triangle all the way up to the top, just like that, on both sides. And this is so I'm going to be able to put it into a belly band in the back so that it's removable. So when it runs out, you can just stick another pad in. I'm gonna cut this and trim it a bit. Okay, so in the back here, I need to put a belly band. And I'm going to do that out of the same paper, this paper. As you can see, I'm not a measurer. And this, we could cover this, which would be nice. So let's go ahead and cover this in this color. Try to get to the edges. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna put this right in the back. Again, this isn't sticking down, need more glue. Need another wet wipe, baby wipe, whatever wipe you call it. And then we're going to put this in. I'm trim it just a little bit. Trim it from this side. And that's going right here. And then we can put this on our paper pad. Okay, trim this. I love about paper crafting. You can
can just trim away your mistakes. Okay, so this is going to slip right in here. And if you find that you need to make your triangles in the back of your pad smaller to fit in, no problem. Okay, this is still not wanting to stay glued, believe it or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and add something here. This paper pad comes with some sweet sayings. So maybe I'll find something there. Let me see what else I have. Nope, it doesn't look good. Oh, this might be cute to go underneath something. This paper is great because it has lines. <laughs> Makes it easier to cut. I'm gonna put that right there. And let's see what saying we have. Oh, I actually have some stickers. So maybe I'll just put this here. Simple, keep it simple, stupid. I want to put a pocket on this side. So I need a little thicker paper. I think I am going to have to use this one. This is pretty though. Just like this, cut a notch. Just like that. Whoa. That's for any receipts or whatever. And then the front. What color should we have on the front? We should probably have this. more pretty stickers. That's pretty. And our pen. And you can get these pens in a packet. We made a little cover. And then we have a little pocket. And then a reinforced cover with 150 sheets. And those sheets are, that pad is removable. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you do make some. They're great to have. Uh, give us little thank you gifts or just cheer up gifts. And uh, 
cute little notes journals. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye.